Well, hi, Mark. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> so, what would you like to change today? Um. In this piece of work. I thought what I'd like to talk about is. Um, Since we did that, I, I wanted to check in with you, really. Okay. And since we did th that piece of work in the, group. in the therapy marathon, yeah. Oh, in the therapy marathon, yeah. I felt um, like the the child that I kind of met. Um, I've put him to bed. Um, and I felt really um, exhausted, kind of physically, since. Yes. Um, and there's been there's been um, another process, which is um, feeling a little bit annoyed as well. Just I, I you know, with having somebody else to take care of as well as the things I've always had to take care of in the past um, so there's there's been that I suppose I want to feel more energized so after today. work you'd like to be more energized yeah feel a bit more um, a bit more nurturing as well towards my you know towards my my little child who I've put to bed and so just feel a bit more connected with him really I suppose and not like I've just put him to bed and have a rest and do you know what I mean that part of yourself which you put to bed yeah yeah now of course Mark there's an important question here go on you always ask me important questions <laughs> well this one's expert go on go on and that is how often do you check upon him when he's when you've sent him to bed, um, I make a, I make a conscious effort to, you know, to perhaps to check on him, see where see where he's up to, what he's doing, probably two or three times a day, four, you know, four times a day maybe. You check in with him. Yeah, just say to him, "Oh, what are you up to, and are you okay?" And yeah. See what he's doing, and he's kind of been sleeping, sleeping a lot recently. With another kind of um, he, he he's not he's not been present the past couple of days, but before that there was like this um, around the same time there was like a kind of screaming kind of child, you know, like proper really loud and like. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. But he's, he seems, he's kind of in the different part of my brain, different part of my consciousness. Okay. So they seem like two, two different... parts of you. Yeah, two children. There's the one that's asleep and there's the one that's kind of screaming. No, it's the one that's screaming. Screaming for, for recognition from you. Or screaming for some other reason. Mm. It felt like, when I think about it now, it's kind of changed. And it, before, it felt like it was screaming. He was screaming to... Because um, he was really angry. But now he seems he seemed to have calmed down, and it's just an upset kind of crying. What was he angry about? Um, being left, I suppose. Yeah, but it felt very kind of, for, for me, on the it felt very persecutory, you know. I have this image of, you know, Jaws, like his mouth wide open and just shouting at me. Because he's been left. Yeah.
And you know, a bit overpowering as well. You know, kind of like, which was a, a bit like, why I kind of just felt really overwhelmed, I suppose, with the noise he was making. So what happened when you felt that, when you felt overwhelmed, mm. what did you do? Um, I tried soothing him. I tried going, oh, you know, he'll be okay. Um, and that, that seemed to work. I tried kind of saying to him, oh, you know, you'll, you'll be all right. And then sometimes I just kind of recoiled at, you know, like, oh, it's too much. Um, What were you thinking when you smiled? What were you thinking? I was, I was doing, I was kind of um, checking you out, really. I was, I was, I was. What were you checking? I out? was checking out whether this was making sense. Oh, it making makes sense, sense to you. Yeah. And what what you were thinking? Because it sounds a bit kind of um, slightly. Well, it's that old kind of thing, isn't it? the parental messages about this being odd and that kind of thing, so I suppose I was just checking that out really with you, so. Would you like my response? Yeah, I would, yeah. Oh, good, I'm pleased about that. <laughs> yeah, what you're saying is you want to be more energised, that's mm. what you want from this piece of work. Mm. And what you're aware of is that there's two parts of you, mm. almost like two kids in a way. One is silent and the other one's screaming a lot. Mm. And the other one's screaming a lot because it wants to get recognition from mm. you. And is that yeah. is angry at you yeah. because you aren't giving that recognition. Yeah. And you occasionally look in and attempt to soothe the one that's asleep. That part yeah. Of you. yeah. Oh. Ah. Well both of them, but it's easier for me to soothe the one that's asleep. Oh, how come? Because if he's asleep he's not gonna hear you. Um I suppose a bit of yeah, I yeah. I not thought of it in that way. I suppose a bit of me was just checking that he was still okay. You know, if you were asleep, you've been a, you've been asleep a long time, kind of thing. And, <clears throat> and the other one, you still go to and say, "It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Be, yeah, yeah. There's no need to be so angry now." Yeah. Do you do that? No, I don't put it in those words. What do you do then? I kind of say to him, "Mum." Say to him. It'll be okay. Shh, not that. Shh, you'll be all, you'll be okay in a bit. But I don't I don't talk to him in that frame. You know, you don't have to be so angry, kind of thing. So what needs to happen for you to get more energy then? <coughs> I think I have to I think I have to feel less scared of these two. No, do you mean scared of both? Like the other one's asleep. Or do you mean scared of the other one, or scared of the one that's asleep, or...? Both of them, I think. How come you're scared of the one that's asleep? Just... scared of, um... what might happen, you know, if I wake, wake him up and... Um, what could happen then? And I won't be able to... I won't be able to look after him properly. And the other one? He's angry at you. You're scared of him as well? Yeah. Scared of him because he's, he's kind of, um, what if 
I won't be able to, you know, if I can't shut him up. This doesn't sound a very good way of putting it, but if I can't soothe him to, you know, kind of reassure him. I was just thinking then about this. I'm sure there's a connection, but recently, you know, when just before I go to, go to bed, just um, very um, get kind of really shaky, you know, like um, like it's. Not a, like it's not a pleasant experience getting preparing to go to bed. I've not thought about the th the three being connected before, but maybe they are. So it's not a good experience. Nice experience, you said. No. Getting ready for bed. No. Because. Paranoid thoughts, you know, because be you know, kind of waking up and being sick in the night, kind of you know, and being poisoned, that kind of thing. Well, who'd want to poison you? Um. I don't know, but... Well, you might not. 